Flying Fish is a talented young artist from the United States best known for his music that draws inspiration from a variety of genres including but not limited to alternative rock, shoegaze, psychedelic rock, and grunge. Fish is a great young artist and hopefully this video helps you learn a little more about him. Fish grew up in a household where music was appreciated and played frequently by his parents. He mentioned his father mostly enjoying 70s 80s classic rock while his mother mostly enjoyed 90s 2000s alternative rock. Fish would take more of an interest in the 90s 2000s alternative rock and he actually said this style of music is the biggest influence on what he creates today. A few of these bands he mentioned enjoying include Weezer, Green Day, Third Eye Blind, Bush, My Chemical Romance, and The Offspring. By the time Fish got to middle school, he would begin to form his own taste in music that went in a different direction from what his parents exposed him to. Fish enjoyed hip-hop artists such as Kanye West, Kendrick Lamar, and Tyler the Creator. Eventually, he would go on to listen to artists such as Yeet, Destroy Lonely, and Ken Carson that led him further into the underground music scene. A couple underground artists he mentioned really enjoying include Uke and Vampire. Throughout his youth, Fish always had the desire to create. Before music became his main medium of creativity, he tried his hand at being a sketch artist, editing video content, and even coding for video games. He said he never felt he was great at any of these hobbies, however, there were early signs of him having a creative mind. Before Fish would make music himself, he would try learning instruments, however, he never felt any passion for learning someone else's music. His mother actually plays a few instruments such as violin, guitar, and piano. At the young age of 8 years old, Fish took violin lessons, but this only lasted a year. In 6th grade, Fish would join the school band, but this would also only last a year. Despite not picking up instruments at a young age, Fish is currently learning the guitar and the piano. It would be at the age of 12, however, that Fish started to experiment with making his own music. Fish said he was interested in learning about how music was made and started inquisitively searching through the internet to learn more about it. After some time of researching, Fish began using the music software known as Soundtrap to arrange sample loops creating instrumentals. Fish said he actually released one of these early instrumentals on Soundtrap's community share feature that is no longer available. Fish continued devoting his time to researching music online and eventually that led him into downloading a trial version of the music software FL Studio to his mom's laptop. At this point, Fish was completely hooked on improving his craft and making music just became something he did every single day. Eventually, Fish would purchase his own laptop and the real version of FL Studio. Fish said he had began uploading his music to YouTube and SoundCloud with hopes that his music would pick up traction. Fish recalled one time he uploaded a minute long instrumental and woke up the next morning to see it had received over 100 plays. This was a big deal to him at the time but little did he know what was soon to come. The next milestone in his career would come in January of 2023 when he uploaded his song titled You For Real. This was a sigil core style song that received a lot of attention through TikTok. Fish said this song had received over 5,000 plays before eventually ticking up and plays more after finding success later in his career. This song is currently private. The first song that Fish really found a big amount of success on would be the song titled Wonder If You Care. Fish posted a snippet for Wonder If You Care on TikTok and put his phone away for a few hours. When he checked his phone again, the TikTok snippet had received over 20,000 likes. Fish didn't think its virality on TikTok would translate into an actual fanbase, but upon its release to SoundCloud, it began immediately gaining attention. This encouraged Fish to spend his last $20 on a DistroKid subscription to release the song to all platforms. After seeing the success with Wonder If You Care, it gave him the confidence he needed to pursue this style of music more. Fish said with him being brought up on alternative rock, he always wanted to make this style of music but didn't think what he made in this style was good enough until he made this song. He even said he created this song expecting it not to do well numbers wise. Fish actually shared a fun fact about his creative process here. He said he would play all the notes out on the FL Studio keyboard and then map them to a guitar sampler. This song was the first time he felt he was good enough at mixing to make it sound authentic in the way he wanted it to. Fish followed Wonder If You Care Up with the song titled Doesn't Matter Now. Once again, this song gained attention through a TikTok snippet and received over 100,000 likes. Fish said seeing another song of his perform well numbers wise reinforced the idea that music could be a real future for him. The most recent milestone Fish mentioned would be on the song titled Forest Green. He said this song upon its release was added to the new Music Friday Spotify playlist and received 20,000 streams in its first day. Fish said every day since his first Spotify release feels like a dream. When I interviewed Fish for the video, I asked him what the reaction was from his parents and people around school to his newfound success. He answered this by saying his parents didn't really understand it and when they noticed his grades were suffering, they actively tried to put a stop to it. It wasn't until he received his first distribution check and explained to his parents that streaming is the new landscape of how artists can make a living in music today. In my opinion, I think any good parents would react the way they did after seeing his grades slip but I'm glad they are more willing to keep an open mind today. As for the reaction from kids around school, Fish said not many people know about the Flying Fish project besides his friends. 
He said he doesn't think much good can come from mixing his personal life with his online presence and I would have to agree. He also went on to add that he doesn't consider himself to be a faceless artist, it just so happens that he hasn't shown his face yet and he plans to keep it that way for the remainder of high school. I also asked Fish if he has any close collaborators he enjoys working with and he answered this by saying he just likes to bounce ideas off his friends. His go-to friend to consult with would be the artist known as Uxby. As far as plans for the future goes, Fish has an EP planned for some time within the coming weeks. He's also been considering signing some type of deal with an independent label, but it's still just a thought in his head. Mainly, he just wants to keep creating music he enjoys and sharing it with the world. He's a great young artist, and being that he's only 15 years old, we have a lot to look forward to from him. Well, that's all for this video. Big shout out to Hopeless for the edit, and please subscribe for more mini-documentaries on various underground artists.